Hi there, Chris here with a quick little video for you guys. Uh, I want to talk today about basically how we organize our paints. And I have a whole bunch of these Turbo Dark paints and I've been looking for a solution. And thankfully one of the monkeys pointed me towards basically Green Stuff World. It's a, a paint holding carry case. And so I have this right here. It still even has all the shrink wrap all over it. And uh, yeah, normally I work with basically just like these little plastic cases. Uh, Reaper Paints uh, sells these things. And usually they have like a bunch of Reaper Paints in them and stuff like that. And I've been using these and I've really liked them, but they only have a very limited capacity to them. And you know, I mean, like I was looking for something dedicated because I have basically my, these cases split between my Turbo Dorks and my Scale 75s, but I wanted something dedicated to my Turbo Dork stuff. Found this option. One of the monkeys pointed me in this direction for Green Stuff World. This uh, was a very affordable option. I was looking at other paint carry cases that were uh, same capacity, uh, but they were like, you know, anywhere upwards of 50 to 70 dollars for the cases and i was like that's a little bit much whereas this came in at a very nice price um so i you know was happy to pick it up and it got to me really quickly despite being all the way in spain it showed up like a, a week which was uh, really quite uh, surprising and quite nice but anywho i'm gonna dive into this and begin uh kind of organizing my paints which is really the main point of this uh video So it even has the little Green Stuff World logo. It's kind of this um, kind of rubberized kind of thing going on. It's a, a kind of a soft case, but it actually is quite firm. It's got the little foam lining in it and everything like that. And of course it is a little thing of pluck foam. I can see it's got all the little cutouts inside of it. And so basically what I will do is obviously uh, begin punching these out as I place paints inside. Now. The big question for everybody out there, when organizing your paints, how do you like to organize them? Do you go, you know, darkest colors to light? Do you go particular uh, hues of colors? So you go like, you know, uh, from white, black, you know, blue, red, green, you know, and like organize your colors that way. How do you guys organize your colors do they have to be organized for you or do you just you know plop them all in and away you go i'm kind of curious i'm going to start throwing this stuff in and then uh basically uh we'll talk a little bit more it's actually kind of fun not gonna lie it's like some sort of uh like one of those little fidget spinners or whatever the heck it's like when you buy a brand new game and you gotta punch out all the little counters and everything. Something is oddly satisfying about this. Well, maybe it's not odd, but it could be really odd, I suppose. <laughs> now I have all these little things of Nerf pellets in here. <laughs> all right, so there we are. The big question is, is there a right and wrong way to organizing your paints? Do you go left to right, right to left, front to back, back to front, light to dark, dark to light. How do you guys go about organizing your paints? Do you feel like you need to organize your paints or do you just simply have at it and uh, you know, do it? Now, for example, in this case here, how I currently have my paint set up goes from like a blue to a green, purpley to a red, orange, yellow. Uh, what is that? Browns, these browns, brown, reds, reds, pink to golds to all sorts of different colors. So now I have the task of setting this all up, slapping my paints in there. Yes, I finally have a dedicated space for all my colors. And so now the glorious task of organizing them. And I'll be back in a sec. So as I have all my Turbo Dark paints, I have some of the really first edition ones here come in these white labels. And then of course they have the newer ones, you know, I broke them up into, I got color shift paints over here, up over here, and I've got the regular metallics down here. It's quite a few paints. And so now I'm kind of just, how do I organize this? How do I go about this? Do I lay out the, the shifting colors and then the metallics or do I do half and half? All of these questions, I don't know. Now I'm starting to think, do I even have, do I even have enough room to fill this case up? Or am I going to have to get another one of these cases to hold all my turbo dark paints? I know first world problems. Let's just have at it. I'm just going to start slapping in. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to separate them all. I think the way I want to do it is opaque or 
solid colors over here and color shifts this way and then just basically have the dividing line so for example i'll start with black and then i'll go darkest to lightest and then i'll go color shifts darkest to lightest i think that's the way we'll do it yeah <laughs> like it really matters but who out there is kind of thinking that i'm going to run out of space To red no it should be purple to blue yes that's the natural progression i know it really matters doesn't it i should have went black to blue to purple to red right oh see this is what happens this is why we we have to go through this phase to figure out how we want to arrange our colors i know this is really needlessly complex but so i finally have it sorted ish black dark tones to blue to purple to reds orange yellows greens no room for the browns uh i got a brown one here and i also have moved the white one as well and i also have some of these earlier shifting ones as well so they got to go over here and yeah i'm starting to think that this is not enough space shockingly enough i know i'm going to organize the next one as as well i'll just go darkest to lightest almost have enough room almost so one old school paint gets left behind. He's gonna go in a different case. Uh, I can't remember the last time I actually used that color, but anywho, that is it. I divided it up into solids over here, color shifts over here, going from darker, well, darker here on the color shifts and lighter color shifts up front. The regular metallics go from a dark to blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green. Now for many of you out there, is there a right way to do it? Is there a wrong way to go about this? Let me know down below. How do you organize your paints? Do you organize your paints? And if you do, how do you organize them? I know this was kind of a silly little video. Uh, someone uh, had asked the question about, you know, organizing paints. And so I did want to make a video about it because I had this case. I had recently purchased it. It was like a few weeks back, but uh, by the time I actually filmed this, but anyway, yeah, and I've been looking for a solution for all my Turbo Dorks all in one space because those other cases don't hold them all. Uh, I don't even know how many spaces those other cases have, but there it is. That is organizing up my Turbo Dorks. It's solid. It's heavy now. It is heavy with paints. But that's it. I, I kind of like this case. It's got a little handle. You know, it's got the little thingy that like kind of allows it to, you know, recess into the rest of the case. It's got the two zippers. It's got little thingies to grab hold of. They actually feel like a bit of a, like a rubber or whatever, but that's it. Let me know what you guys uh, do for your paint collections. And yeah, I know I realize this is a pretty silly kind of topic, but it is one of those topics that I think we don't really kind of talk about. We just, you know, just go about it and just figure out whatever. For some of you out there, do you feel like there is a right way or a wrong way to go about organizing your paint? Do you feel it necessary to organize your paints? Let me know down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys kind of got a kick out of this one. Also a big thank you to all my patrons. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. And so a huge, huge thank you to everybody who does support through Patreon. And uh, if you're curious about supporting through Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Thank you to everybody who, uh, who does. And I'll see you guys later. Take care of those brushes and they'll take care of you.